So today we're in the Palmer Museum of Art, and uh, we're going to talk about a question I'm often asked, uh, how do you grade art? And uh, I think the reason the question is asked so often is uh, people feel that art is a form of personal expression, and uh, how can one possibly grade something that's so personal about one's thoughts and feelings about the world they live in? Uh, the, one of the first things I often talk about with a class is the difference between subjectivity and objectivity. And obviously subjectivity is one's own personal sort of biases and preferences. And objectivity is uh, something more sort of, sort of universal truth uh, that basically everyone agrees on. So it's interesting standing here in this museum and wondering how the pieces got here in the museum. And there had to be some sort of vetting system that had to do with uh, quality and uh, who thought the pieces were, were strong enough to be in the museum. In talking about grading, one of the things I've used in terms of evaluation came out of a discussion or several discussions from a friend and colleague, Charles Garoyan, and uh, using the four C's as sort of a criteria for whether uh, something works or not. And those four C's are the craft of how you make something, and then the creativity, how innovative it is, and then uh, the content, or in terms of the idea or concepts, and then composition, how things are sort of organized. And uh, usually the one that's most easily understood is the, cr the craft of something, how someone makes something with their hands. And often I've heard that as a criteria when I'm actually in a museum, I've overheard people talking and someone will lean and say, Marge, or I could do that, why, why is that here? It's just splattered paint or something. And they have an understanding of sort of technical virtuosity. But it's more than just technical virtuosity. It's always, also, as I said before, about the content, the composition, the creativity. And one could argue that the, the most uh, significant work of art in the 20th century in terms of influence on other artists was, in fact, the first sort of ready-made or found object, uh, Marcel Duchamp's fountain, which was actually a urinal that was shown in 1917 in New York City. People were wondering, you know, how, why is this in the gallery? And you had a huge influence on the rest of 20th century art and to this day. And uh, uh, countless artists have used found objects and appropriated them and incorporated them into their artwork. So those are the ways that one tries to evaluate work. And lastly, I think how people view art is basically what you know is what you see. And so hopefully the more one knows, the more they'll see. Yeah. All right. Very good.